Hi guys, my name is John Dumelo. Keep on watching Penax GH. Hi, my name is Gloria Safo. Keep watching Penax GH. Don't regret. What's up, people? My name is James Gardner. Keep watching Penax GH. Respect. Kweba is the name, and you're watching Pibas Radio on Penax GH. Happy Basinari, eh? Abdul Majid Waris Yiri. Now, Abdul Majid Waris, or a Ghanaian footballer. Now, um, so what's your AFCON 2019? That is the African Cup of Nations here. Um, that is set to happen on the 21st of this very month to the 19th of June, uh, July. No, a year, sir, almost almost select here. A year coach, you know, a select here for the people. I mean, the black stars who are going to play now. A year, final 13 almost select, almost select 30 people. Yeah, initially, na initially, no, 13 almost select here. And then, yes, sir. Abdul Majid Warisi or Kahu Empona Etri no Moko a year one week um campaign El Dubai no Moko do a year Dubai no Ena Omosan so a year the final twenty three that is the twenty three um, players uh, who will be playing at the AFCON 2019. Now, 23 uh, players are almost selected. And unfortunately for Abdul Majid, you know, um, the DMP, you know, according to a uh, year sports journalist, uh, of free joy, that is George Addo, information all day, my NSA, a year, um, yeah, selection, that is the final 23 selection, um, yeah, you know, Abdul, Nani Dini, name, um, you say, a year, yeah, yeah, pines, you call, local, no, cry, a year, local room, war, a soon, yes, 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 soon, and Ebojo no no na odi e free ho na enyo no nko ampo na oye nko fo like ya na se ni pa ye drop no e bi mo te se e ye Ebenezer Ofori Mohammed Al Hassan Abdul Fatawo Yaw Yabua these are all parts of them and nko fo e ye coach one for omo anka e the final 23 players will be playing at the Afcon 2019 na nama e wi awe e ye penakshi e chi abe mo e ye and se bi the ex wife of this very man Abdul Majid Waris there that is her name is Habiba scenario and she's a CEO of um Aranese makeup, Aranese makeup. She's a CEO for Aranese makeup. Now, nah, or granting interview be a eh, hit FM na interview. No, um, it was all about, I think, uh, it was all about relationship. Um, they were talking about, you know, relationship stuffs. Ain't he along the relationship line? Now, now, or Casa Casana or Casa B. Bishanable. Now, one can't a Bahani year pen. You know, she was given the chance to, you know, express her opinion and to say what is actually worrying her. And no, now, or the two Ja Amagano for Nan, what's it be Bishop? I will say, Anina, and the ex husband that is Abdul Majid Waris. Now, yeah, you need free 23 finalists. No, uh, the Salas never any didn't need didn't come on the ex husband didn't come on. She's happy. Not the intern uncle, or be or be she has to be a woman, EJ, and no, I be some old chum say or cassa because a yen ex husband knee or nay or no a ya habiba and for only name dear crack 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 crack. Even before she was signed a divorce papers in the man is signing divorce papers in the NSA. A year Abdul on in a woman, so on ten who and share a crown on in a one who and nunti and a ma or jai nukunu and see empono side in a nukuni di and no on shone in a crane and a ya and see no conuco to you be a sugunyan coupons no jidin posse a be a suno sugunyan coupons no and no na a perpetuity into a curse now cotto a year Abdul so send a year yeah more listed by ya and an ID and count me and Sabre we have an to the video sure. mommy i want to ask you a question yeah wait okay i'm coming okay i'm coming mm. okay you ask it then i will okay if it was wrong or right okay so i'm I, i'm not i'm not i'm a proud divorcee okay excuse me to say okay. and i think it's just the type of era that i am in that there's the lack of impatient young ladies okay. and i think i'm one of them because i don't have patience at all but my divorce was based on something else and um this is a man that I'll say I'm way educated than. Mm. And the way you spoke, I won't lie, it gave me hope again. Mm. I'm I'm literally about to tear up. So if in case <laughs> I do, please don't don't <laughs> me. I have gotten that hope to love again because as I'm sitting here, I don't want any man in my life. Mm. Because I noticed from my life experience that if you be with a man that is lesser than you, he treats you like garbage. Wow. That is the life lesson I have learned. Okay. So I keep on preaching to other women to also get what they have. Because I was in school when I got married to this man. And because of him, I left school. And as I'm talking to you, I'm starting all over again. And I'm not shy because I was a medical student. And now I am in another sector. But I, I always put everything in the hands of God. And I feel that God has already ordained that I'll never be a doctor. 
But as I'm yeah. sitting down here, I was left with just a year and I would have been a, a certified midwife after the, 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 me the medical school. So I have been through a lot. But this is a man I left my family for, to support him for this marriage to be done. This is a man I stood by, even though I knew he wasn't educated to my level. This is a man... I'm not saying he wasn't rich. He was rich, but I never... If you had seen my wedding, you wouldn't believe I was... I got married like someone who has been married 10 times. And this is her 11th wedding. I, would, I, would, I didn't care about money. But he and the family, excuse me, excuse me to say, made me feel like I was in for his money. Mm. But this is someone that... He's a soccer player. When we go outside, I basically do everything for you. I'm your lawyer. I'm your doctor. I'm your wife, I'm your mother, I'm your child, I'm everything. But you treat me like your family is better than me. I don't wish him bad, but as I'm talking to you today, he's paying for it. He's one of the people that Horn and the coach have told them to come back. And I'm here as a single mother. And I'm a very, very, very young woman. Because if I say my age, no one will believe me. I'm very, very young. But the type of responsibility this young guy has placed on my head. I laugh, I laugh and walk around like I'm the happiest woman in this world. But I bleed inside me. I cry inside me. I cry every day. I look at my child and I ask myself, if I had followed my family or listened to my family because they wanted me to marry someone else, but I trusted this person. <laughs> His family is a nobody family. It's a nothing family. My family have high status than them. So that's why they didn't want me to marry him because of how those kind of tribe behave. Mm -mm. So at this point, because of your career, you think you're better? <laughs> and I've been with you from taking care of you even when you have injuries, doing all sorts of things, but I've never even held your hand to take you to a Gucci shop and said, buy me this Gucci bag. I've never done that. You never used to give me even money when we're married. But I, I said nothing about it because I was compromising. My family taught me how, my mom taught me how to compromise, how to sacrifice as a wife. And she said, I am the only one that will sacrifice till I die in my marriage. So I should put that in my head. So now... Even though what you said has given me hope, but now I still stand by that thing that you shouldn't even marry someone who is lower than you because you suffer. The person will leave you. That the way the person was brought up that is how you're going to. That's how he's going to treat you, mommy. You understand yeah, what yeah, I mean. I so it's difficult for we the young people like me. I don't lie. I can't go and marry somebody who has nothing. Already, I'm coming with the responsibility. <laughs> I'm, you see, situations like that, that's what I want to also ask my mm. about it. Sometimes, situations like yeah. that, I am a single mother of two. You are one. I'm a single mother of two. Wow. I was married for five years. I'm divorced. I've been divorced for three years. I have two kids. I take care of them myself. So, if I'm going to date somebody, I make her say, Debi, Debi, Ebe, yeah. I mean, I'm going to worry my kids. I work myself. I work Thank my you. ass off. I work. My kids are the reason why I'm sitting here. I work because of them. As for that one, I don't date because of money. You won't get me. But I feel like you can't go for somebody who doesn't have anything because of, for the sake of my children. Exactly. Now, I'm not even thinking about myself. Mm. Now, it's the kids. If I say I'm going to follow love, I'll do so many stupid things. Love didn't take me anywhere. Exactly. So, I am asking that this situation that I am in now, mm -hmm. should I go and date somebody like who is going to start life now? That I'm going to help and my kids are here. He's here. He doesn't have any kids. But we are going to start a whole life together. I, I Sometimes I imagine, I don't want an empire, but I need a comfortable life for my children's sake. Yeah. Not me. Now I'm not thinking about myself. Mm -hmm. So what, like, and what like advice you... start from th scratch already. Thank you. I, not, so what advice you have for people like me? I'm standing in for people like okay. me. You see, um... I love I love the fact that you are telling me you have two kids, you have one. You know, there are some men, they, they don't know what they have until they lose them. And not because of them, we will change our principles. Sure. No. 
I wouldn't know what happened before you married him. Sometimes the signs are there, but we don't, but we don't see. see. We yeah. ignore them because we are in a rush. I love him. We are in a rush. I want to marry him. That is our problem. You know, there are some men in the beginning when you're working with them, the signs will be there. But sure. you know, yeah. we are too strong. I want to marry. I want to go in for those men. No matter what you do to them, if you cut your head for them, they will still misbehave. Yeah. yeah. They will. Now he's gone. You've already divorced us, so I, I'm not here to judge you. No. But if you were at the edge of divorcing, I would have stopped you not to do it. I would have stopped you because you need to survive. You need to stay. Not stay because of him. No, staying to prove to him that you can stop. stay. Yes. You know, the, the, some, of the, some of the men, it takes, it takes like 20 years sacrifice to, for them to back, come back to, to themselves. Come back, yes. I, mommy, I, I'm not even cutting you. Mm -hmm. I'll blame myself, first okay. of all. I won't go and blame anybody. Mm. Sometimes we are own yeah, enemies. Problems, yeah. yes. Yes, because every day I'll say I will advise young women. Everywhere I go, I advise young men, women because when I, the reason why I married my husband mm. was because my boyfriend slept with my best friend and I was so hurt. I couldn't take it. So you I was like, see. I'm going to show this boy you that see? I can move on. You, you, you so see? I did a rebound. When my husband was asking me, I'm just using my life as, like, as an example. I've never spoken about this. But today I'm very emotional because of what you said. So if you're out there and you're listening to me, never even make an, an, a, mm -hmm. never make a decision decision mm -hmm. when you are in a fix mm -hmm. i was yeah. frustrated then because i was like this guy i gave him my all and he just you know he just crashed my world mm -hmm. all i was supposed to do was just sit down we and take time to, to love myself but i did do didn't celebrate yourself instead of that i was like i'm going Pay to show back. this boy a lesson now you i'm giving myself my own lesson, lesson. Yes. You know and i wanted him to know that i've moved on no no no. And I didn't even love my husband when I married him because you, you I wanted problem. to pay my ex-boyfriend. No, you do, you, now, you, see, you don't owe anybody. Like, like, yes. Well, so it was like a rebound, you know. So when he said, "Okay, so Cynthia, yeah, 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 I want to date," I was like, "Oh yes, I let's want to also go. date." Let's marry. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's marry. Well, no, that was the yeah. truth. My ex will see I'm wearing a ring. It so I was flaunting my ring on social media, and I'm married. Maintain that now five years.